Former Merchant Marine Captain Klaus Lutha joins me. Captain Lutha has guided ships in and out of Baltimore's port hundreds of times. He's also a cargo ship expert and a lawyer. Nice to see you, sir. Thanks for having me. All right. Um, first of all, going in, have you gone into Baltimore Harbor with a cargo ship? In and out with cargo ships of okay. all sorts, okay. yeah. All right. As a captain of the ship, are you the one who's actually piloting it when you go into these harbors, or do you have, like, a harbor pilot? So typically the captain is aboard on the bridge, is ultimately responsible for the ship, but there's a harbor pilot who is on board on the bridge advising the ship how to navigate the channels, how to go through bridges, and uh, generally how to get out of the port into safer waters. So he's, he's the expert. He, he's typically the expert on the actual port and the channel. That's right. All right. Um, this was going about eight knots, nine, nine miles per hour after leaving uh, it, it, it's, the port. Does that seem particularly fast to you? For a ship of that size, that speed is, uh, it, it's not an irregular rate of speed, but it is a significant rate of speed in the fact that it takes a long time for that ship to slow down. That ship left the dock, was heading out into the channel, and so was probably increasing speed in an attempt to make its way eventually out of the bay. So eight knots is not an unreasonable speed, but it is a difficult speed to stop a ship of that size. Uh, we don't know what happened, and so obviously the NTSB is going is to investigate this. It appears, and I underline appears, that there was light, then there was suddenly wasn't light, then it flickered back on, and there wasn't light. It almost looked like the, that, the, that the boat, that the cargo vessel lost power. Right. Does, that, does that sort of look what happened to you? It appears from the video that's what happened. Some of the radio trans, uh, transpondence that came through indicates that that may have been the case. So if they did lose the plant, the propeller was no longer... Uh, functioning, the rudder potentially wasn't functioning the right way, and they had no control over what was happening. Is it, wouldn't you expect a backup system of some sort, and you know, even bow thrusters uh, that would be operated by generators or something, so they give you a little maneuverability? So there are emergency generators. They kick on to help maintain uh, critical components on the vessel and operational areas, but in those confined waters with the time that they had available, there really wouldn't be much time to respond, get those online, and then get down to the rudder, for instance, to control the ship. They were just reacting as quickly as they could. Did it look like they were out of position? I mean, is that the I mean, did it look like, when we pick up the video, it looks like they're ready to hit the bridge. Mm. Is, is that where the channel is, or were they out of position to begin with? They were in position to begin with, but what you see when you watch the video, you see that black smoke coming out of the stack there, and after the lights go out, lights come back on. That black smoke indicates they're doing something dramatic with the engine. Most likely, they're backing down hard. They're going full astern, trying to slow the ship down to keep it away from the bridge. The problem with these vessels is that they have one propeller, and it turns in one direction or the other direction, and that affects how the ship uh, bow turns. So once they start backing down, the propeller's turning, that bow is out of control, and that's when you see it turn to the bridge. It looks like maybe it's headed there intentionally. It absolutely was not. Have you ever been on a cargo ship where you lost all your power? Sure. Yeah. Really? So that's not so unusual? It's not so unusual. People are prepared for it. Fortunately, a lot of times it's happened out in the middle of the ocean where you can float for a day and figure out the problem and solve it. When you're in confined waters like this, uh, c catastrophe can happen. And, and the smoke is, is what, from the engine trying to back up and, and turn the rudder the other way? Yeah, just imagine stepping on the accelerator in your car. <clears throat> stepping on the accelerator in your car, and, uh, you know, if you have a high-performance racing vehicle, the smoke is just going to come out of the exhaust. It's the same thing here. That's tragic. Captain Klaus Luda, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.